Hi class, uh, this is my video for lesson 46. Um, it's a short lesson, it won't take me long to instruct you. Uh, so first I want to review where we should be right now and the plan for the end of semester and over break. Um, so starting here, um, for the rest of the semester by now, you should have watched the review that I posted yesterday on Haiku. Um, watch it once or twice and take your test nine have it proctored by a parent or an older older sibling. Um, if you've watched it once or twice, I think you'll do pretty well on the exam, on test nine, that is. Um, this week, I changed my syllabus a little bit. I had a review week this week. Um, I'm going to do lessons 46 to 50 this week, and I'm going to post test 10 on Haiku uh, later today. That can be taken unproctored. That's part of your homework. So this will be like a typical week, all right? And then next week is just a review week, um, and I'm going to post a final exam online. I'm going to make it pretty straightforward. It's not going to have super complicated problems. I want you just to just know that you guys grasp uh, the basic concepts for this semester. Um, so hopefully that won't be too challenging. You should all do well in it. I will also post a review before the final exam. Um, then I want you to have a really blessed and happy Christmas with your families. Enjoy and thank God for sending Jesus to us. Um, after Christmas and after the new year, I am going to be posting videos on Haiku week, um, what are we in? Let's see, was this week 12 or week 14? Wow, I'm lost. On the last week for this semester, um, I'm going to post um, homework, the videos for your homework for over break. So you'll have three weeks worth of homework in January. You can paste those out however you like. Um, we start back up, I think, end of January. So you should have plenty of time to get those in. By doing that, we'll stay on pace with um, just about completing the book. Okay. So this is lesson 46. This is almost really a review. It's talking about order of operations again, and it's just applying the concept to fractions. And I think I've actually already worked some of those problems um, possibly on, on some of my videos. Okay, so for example, if we have uh, a number sentence, excuse that, that's my phone going off, a number sentence with a couple of different math operations. Of course, remembering this means multiplication right there. Um, just as in any other kind of number sentence with fractions, we follow the same rules. When we have multiplication and or division in a number sentence, we do those first from left to right. So we want to work this multiplication first. Then we'll come back and deal with the addition. Multiplication I like. It's easier to me than adding and subtracting. Um, let's cancel out some things first. That makes it simpler. And we'll left with 3 on top and 5 and 2 on the bottom. That's 10. Right now I'm left with adding fractions. Um, and uh, I have to find a common denominator. Um, I, I think it's pretty easy to see that if I work the multiples of 10, I'm not going to get to a multiple of 7 until I get to 70. Okay, There's no other smaller multiple of 10 that uh, divides 7 evenly into it. So 70 is going to be my common denominator here. All right, so let's write down what we know. Our denominators are 70. Here I had to multiply 7 by 10 to get to 70, so I must also do that with my 3. Here I multiplied 10 by 7 to get to 70, so I must also do that. Um, also my numerator is 3 there, that's 21. Now I simply add my numerators, okay, and I get 51 over 70. It's 51, um, 6, that is not, that is not a prime number, 51 is not, but um, I don't think they have any common factors. Um, so I believe 51 over 70 would be my final there. Okay, so that's basically all this um, lesson is about. I'll just work one other that involves division because it'll also expect you to do um, to work problems using mixed numbers. So I'm going to give you a number sentence with mixed numbers and division. Just to throw something, throw a monkey wrench in there. All right. Okay. So once again, we see we have division right here, right there. And so I want to work that first. Um, 
before I deal with the division, I need to make my uh, mixed numbers into improper fractions. So we'll start with 3 and 1 eighth. I multiply my whole number by my denominator, that's 24. I add it to my numerator, that's 25. And I keep my same denominator. Over here, I'm going to multiply my whole number by 6, my denominator, that's 12. I'm going to add it to my numerator, 3, and I get 15 over my same denominator, 6. Um, now, when you divide fractions, you multiply and flip the second one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Instead of divided by 15 over 6, I have multiplied by 6 over 15. All right, let's go ahead and do some canceling. Break these down into the factors. And this is the fun part. I love canceling, getting rid of all the gobbledygook that we don't need. There's a 2. Let's see what am I left with. 5, 3, 2, 3, 5, 2. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to make any mistakes. Sometimes I make mistakes here and I catch it later. So if I make a mistake, hopefully you guys will catch it. All right. So this evaluates to 5 fourths. Yes, and so um, I'm going to bring down my 5 and 2 thirds. Actually, no, I'm going to convert that to an improper fraction before I bring it down. 5 times 3, 5 times 3 is 15. Add in my numerator 2, that's 17. And that's over 3. Why did I come out with 10 last time? I'm sorry, I'm just thinking in my head here. Um, and we're subtracting. I need a common denominator. My common denominator for 3 and 4 is 12. I think I worked this in a problem in another video. Um, pretty quickly you get to 12, which is the uh, least common multiple of 3 and 4. All right, so that changes our denominator to 12 and 12. I'm going to multiply 17 by eek by 4. 34, that's 68. Ooh. And then I'm going to... Um, See, yeah, I multiplied 4 by 3 to get to 12, so I need to multiply 5 by 3. That's 15. So 68 minus 15, 68 minus 15 gives me, uh, that's 53 over 12. 53, I believe, is prime, and that's my final answer. All right, so there's some practice turning mixed numbers into improper fractions and dividing fractions. And don't forget your order of operations. Multiplication division first, left to right, followed by addition and subtraction, left to right. And that's it for lesson 46. Okay, signing off.